Hey ladies, it's your girl Hypnotic Lady. Get into this look. I am in love with these curls and this color. If you are feeling this look yourself and want to see how I achieve this look, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be right back. Jumping right in, the company I will be working with today is Sunbur Hair. They did send me a 13 by 4 transparent lace wig. And here I'm showing you all the goodies. Of course, I got two wig caps and, and some 3D, 3D mink eyelashes. And of course, an adjustable elastic band and a leopard print. They also sent me this cute Sunbur silk drawstring bag so I can store my wig once I'm done. This is the unit. This is their HD Lace Chocolate Brown Highlight Wig. It is in 24 inches and it is the body wave texture and it is a 13 by four frontal, 180 density. Now, this unit did come pre-plucked. Um, I did all have to bleach the knots off camera for about 20, 20 to 30 minutes. But other than that, everything came included. It did come with an adjustable elastic band inside, three combs and adjustable straps in the back as you guys can see. I love, 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 love this unit. Um, root full to tip, the lace is HD, like I said. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like up against my skin tone in just one second. And after that, we're going to get right into the video. Now, I usually come in with me doing my install first, but since I did go ahead and kind of like pre-style this unit a little bit, I wanted to just show you guys how I'm going to curl this hair. So I am going to part the hair in, I would say three or four sections, um, starting in the back. And I'm using these little T pin clips or claw mouth clips. I don't know what you call them. And here I'm just parting through that and I'm going to section off everything. Now I'm going to take my gibberie or jabir. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, this is a razor comb and I got this from Sally Beauty and I'm just going in in one of the sections that I parted out and I'm just cutting some soft layers before we get ready to curl. This part is optional, but I highly suggest you curl your hair and if you curl it, you want some layers. Layers just give it more of that oomph look, um, whereas when it's not layered, it's just gonna fall. Now I'm gonna take my one inch barrel curler um, and I got this from my local beauty supply store years ago. Um, so I do not no longer know the brand, I apologize. I do believe it is the brand Hot and Hotter, but don't quote me for sure. I've had this curling iron for years, y'all. So as you guys can see, um, I am just starting at the bottom, working my way up to the top and I am curling away from my face. I'm letting the hair sit on the barrel for about maybe one to two minutes until everything's nice and hot. And then I'm just lightly pinning the curls up with some duck bill clips, if that's what they're called, or pin curl clips, whatever one you wanna call them. But um, I'm going to start going all the way up till I get all the way up to the top. And then we're just going to move from section to section. And like I said, it was a total of four sections. Um, I just did really two sections on the side and then two sections in the back. So you guys are going to see me do the full curl tutorial and I will be pinning all those curls up. And then once we get through with them curls, we're going to slap this wig on, do a quick glueless install and then wrap this up.
We've got our unit styled you want to go ahead and put your lace on this is what we're looking like fresh out with the wig on my head as you can see this lace is very much given scalp now i'm going to take my scissors and my eyebrow razor and now i'm going to cut off the excess lace like so um this does not have to be perfect i do suggest jagged edges or rough lines you don't want no straight across line because it will give a line of demarcation and we do not want that um, now I'm just lining everything up to make sure everything looks nice and neat. Um, there is no makeup on this lace or anything like that. So I will say it's definitely giving scalp and we didn't have to put anything on it yet or right away, which is a plus in my book. Um, once you get all your excess lace cut off, just make sure you get the like, the placement of your liking of your lace and everything. And then once I get all of that, how I like it, I'm going to take my Eben or Eben Wonder Lace Spray and we're going to go in and use this. I haven't used this in a minute, but I'm just doing two to three little spritz and you guys can see I go right in with my Songbird Blow Dryer and blow that down. Um, you kind of just want to push the adhesive into the lace like so until it gets nice and tacky and dry. Um, if you get any buildup in the hair, just take your rat tail comb and comb out the excess spray throughout the hair. Um, but I usually don't get up and get any buildup as long as I'm moving pretty fast. And like I said, I just press it in when I spray it. The only way I've really seen buildup is if, you know, you just put in spray on top of spray on top of spray on top of spray. And with this spray, you don't really have to do that. Like, like I said, you just spritz, press it in a couple of times, use the blow dryer, and then it already melts into the lace. As you guys can see, this is definitely giving scalp. And I'm not going to use no elastic band or anything or tie this down with this unit, which is very <laughs> awkward. You know, I always tie down my laces and melt them. But I really just didn't see the need to do that with this unit today, so I didn't. 
But now I'm just finishing up with my Even Wonderlay spray. We're just laying down this last little part and I am loving how realistic this is already looking with no makeup, no baby hair, no nothing. It was giving me life, okay? I was loving this unit. Summer hair, y'all did it. Once I get everything nice and tacky and secure, now this is what it's giving. Some of my little pink curls dropped, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna just take this little eyeshadow brush that I had and I'm just going to take the, eyes, the excess powder that was on the brush and just pop that into the lace like so, just to make sure everything is looking realistic like scalp. Now that I took all my pans out, we are going to whoosh one, whoosh two, whoosh three, and boom, this is the finished look. Y'all, get into it, get into it. I ate this up. This is their, like I said, 13 by four HD lace. This is their chocolate brown highlighted wig in a body wave texture, 24 inches, 180 density. Do you see what the layers did? This is what I say when I recommend, I recommend cutting layers because them little feathered looking curls, like this is all that gives. And this is what the lace is looking like up close and personal with no baby hairs, no nothing. Definitely giving scalp. I love this clean, hairline look. I love the no baby hair look because it just gives elegant, classy, you know, big boss chick shit. So overall, I give this unit a 10 out of 10. Color, amazing. Hair, amazing. Didn't get no shedding, no tangling. Lace was HD, already given scalp. Definitely recommend. Y'all, look at this hair. Look at the body. And I didn't put nothing on this hair. I didn't set no setting spray, no hairspray, no spritz, nothing. I don't even think I used heat protecting spray when I was curling it. And y'all know I stay doing that. So I definitely recommend this unit. Again, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at 130K. Don't forget, I will be doing a wig giveaway once we hit 130. <laughs> So if you guys like this video, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.